now. Okay, we're back. Uh, we apologize, but button puppet Ron Doyle queued up the wrong trailer. It was the trailer for the he's trailer. A tease. He's a tease. Just he's a, a second. All of you get quiet. Ron, this is a threat, okay? If you let this happen again, I will cut you. Okay, go ahead, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like, that's against quarantine protocol. That's not social distancing. Yeah, he, he means metaphorically, up. he's going to mail no, you the knife. No, he no, means he's going to come up in his germ bubble and get him. I'm going to physically cut Ron. Button puppet Ron needs to get this right. There's okay. too much on the line. But it did really, it, the trailer for the trailer did serve to get me fucking fired up for the actual Dude, trailer. Dude, I am so hard right now. So we're going to play it in 15 or 20 seconds. When we say stop, we're just going to watch little chunks and we're going to discuss. Here we go, dudes. Wait, wait, wait. I also want to note this trailer far longer. I'm so excited. Oh, it's three, this one's like minutes. three minutes. It's like a short seconds. film. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bring okay. it up. Okay, okay. Here you go. I used to live my life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> but things changed. My father now, I will always be in your heart. Little Brian, I have a gift for you. Your daddy gave me this. Now I'm gonna give it to you. It's very special. It's for protection from what's coming. Okay, Rod, pause. First of all, all of that. tell me, all of that. tell me he races that tractor at some point. You know, like another farmer, they're both like going to the farmer's market, like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes. Please. Please. Drifting tractors. That's all that's left to happen. What is Chekhov that said if you introduce a tractor in the first act that it has to go off by the by the fourth or third or mm -hmm. something? That's right. It's just <laughs> well, it's good playwriting. Screenwriting yeah, one one. Yeah. All right, so let's you get into it. We, we've seen all that. Let's just okay. keep going. Let's keep, keep going. Go. go. Okay. All right, Dom. What's next? No matter how fast you are. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. What happened to that truck? And and we saw Luda's back. Luda's that's, back. It's good to see Luda's face. Yeah, I mean that that's huge. Huge. And apparently ludicrous. this one's taking place on the Jurassic Park Island, which mm -hmm. looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that so is the cool. The dinos the dinosaurs come out. Uh, dude, they're doing No matter how fast you are. <laughs> Not to be compared to you. No. There's a landmine. There's clearly some sort of landmine that the truck hits. So they're in Vietnam, like Vietnam, or like or mm, some war-torn region where it, uh, DMZ? the U.S. has irresponsibly left landmines. It's, honestly, at this it's point, a stark it's... commentary on these munitions that are left in, in these war-ravaged regions. Yeah, this is like uh, the killing fields, Cambodia, Phnom Penh shit. But I think um, there's more questions than answers right now. And that's actually a really good first minute of a trailer. Create questions. And I've got yeah. so many. <laughs> I do. I do too. One, well, one, we know they've suspended physics again, which is all I care about. Thank God. I, I mean, <laughs> who's this mystery man watching through the binoculars? Who's this cat? Adam, Adam do you have your binoculars? Yeah, can you get Adam, a better Can you gander, recreate Adam? this? This might help us do a little. Uh, Adam, maybe do some spying. Face. Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. It's pretty blurry this close up. Um, I mean, look <laughs> at the forearms on this uh, Angus beef. We got ourselves. We got ourselves a John problem. Cena? I judging think judging John from Cena. the back of the neck. Well, I've I, seen I, this trailer fourteen times, so yes. <laughs> judging from back of the neck, I'm gonna go pretty boy on this is us, but let's see. Okay. Why not run their past? I am more easy. You trying your best to become me. Okay, pause it. Okay. <laughs> Once again, uh, Gumby Letty survives another <laughs> another unlikely <laughs> accident. <laughs> well, what I like about that is what we're all immediately catching on with the visual cues that Fast and Furious is giving us. It's a reprisal of the famous Letty stunt that is <laughs> would have shredded her into so many pieces. I on not. my bicycle, I've gone up on the hood of two different cars, and let me tell you, I I'll never walk properly again. <laughs> and that my was it. Seven miles an hour. <laughs> My friend um, Scott 
uh, is a physicist. He listened to this episode. What has he been? What is he? He's a physicist. <laughs> a physicist. Oh, okay. He got a little. He hit the mud in that turn for sure. <laughs> he swung a little wide and then came came out. You know, I have a lisp, and so sometimes <laughs> things come out difficult. Yeah, but lisps, he's a lisps he's mean a, you don't understand words. That's how that works. <laughs> No, I physicist. Uh, but but this guy, but he's a fan of the show. He's great. His name is Scott Durkey. He did the math on the famous stunt of uh, of oh, Letty. Man. And uh, why did you not tell me about this? Yeah, he just sent. He just told me the other night, and he said that it they would have hit the force with like nine hundred times. The force of gravity. <laughs> it would have been pink mist. But uh, so she is clearly hoods are her preferred airbag when she's fallen. That's clear. The hood mm-hmm. of a car softer than a corn patch <laughs> in an air crash. You know what I mean? Softer than a corn patch. Softer than a corn patch in, in an, an air crash. crash. That's, that's just a saying. That's just a saying we've all said once or twice when <laughs> testing out a new pillow. Ben Roy. Well, live if this from ain't the- softer than a corn patch in an air crash. <laughs> you get one of them new Casper mattresses? <laughs> I touched down my Cessna here after a complete engine failure. I'd probably walk away from it too. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Softer than a corn patch in an air crash. <laughs> so, anyway, I think we're seeing this is clearly where we're paused right now. I'm going to guess Mystery Man is John Cena. John you Cena. said you've seen this. John Cena. I did not know this. Adam and, and I have gl- known. I'm glad he was able to get a role. I'm glad he was someone was able to cast him in something because Cena really doesn't get cast in a lot of stuff lately. No. So are you no, being sarcastic? Yeah, I'm being sarcastic. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my daughter just watched a movie where he was like a firefighter tasked with keeping keeping up with these terrible children. Cena <laughs> went into his his agent. He went walked into CAA and he grabbed the dude by the neck and he said. All the roles. <laughs> He's like, yeah, what's, what's Batista doing that I can't do? Nerdy dad, Cena. Accountant, Cena. New Furious, Cena. <laughs> well, they were like, people love the addition of The Rock. What's another wrestler we could put in? Yeah, Kurt Angle was not, was second on that list to... You don't know. He could show up in here. You don't know. Oh, man, if Kurt Angle... Okay, anyway, right, let's, 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 keep keep going. Going. All right. let's keep going. Yes! It was a long time, don't. So we're up against a master thief. Assassin. High performance drama. <laughs> okay, stop, 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 stop. stop. I, I don't know if we, don't we want all his credits? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> um, amateur art appraiser, <laughs> sommelier, <laughs> prolific book dealer. <laughs> There's no more unrealistic stunt than like 350 pound John Cena on that cable coming down. He'd yeah. just be like a wrecking ball, just completely take out the skylight part of the chimney. <laughs> Dude, it's like the Kool-Aid man just burst through the Louvre wall. <laughs> Master thief. He's a Reluct- cat reluctant. burglar who can't fit Relu- through most Relu- spaces. <laughs> reluctant taffy puller. We've got <laughs> what Eric I did like- Fly Fisher. What All right. They're just that. adjective <laughs> and then and then okay. So so clearly uh, they've met their match. They're- now they're back to being Avengers. And the one thing that I will say about this that I love is that this does look a lot like uh, Five, which is, as we've said, is all of our favorites. There's a lot of running from rooftops. It looks it's very, cool. it looks like very stereotypical. What this looks like. Also, the, like that, like the villain's base with those like gigantic like vent doors. Like. Who's the architect? What are the costs involved with just, you know, a, just a door? Just oh, they a- got that in the basement of any Buffalo Wild Wings. That's like the standard. <laughs> standard uh, vent door. Yep. Look where Ron Post it. We've got, uh, it I, looks like- I assume this is Dom skateboarding on the side of a Dodge Challenger. <laughs> <laughs> on the side, on the door. Because that, that's how you, you do it. You know what I mean? Hey, you, guys missed, you guys missed the clue, which was that Santa said, have been a long time, Don. There's a history here. 
which yeah didn't no i didn't miss it i i got it <laughs> well yeah it was pretty subtle i don't know if you guys uh <laughs> you mean when text. they stood face has to face? any character encountered dom and not said that like i feel like that's everyone who meets uh dom has some sort of weird link to his past okay All right, let's let's play it let's get into the next stuff who is he? <laughs> Holy shit, pause. I'm sorry, Ron. Rewind that, please. Please, just go I don't back. Want to, I don't want this to take, uh, you know, 90 minutes. But, but I, it's going to. I have okay, to go, see this. Okay, go, go, go. All right. Okay. okay grappling hook. High performance driver. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you could survive that. Yeah. Dude, okay. So he's surfing the side of a Dodge Charger, it looks like. And then he just kind of, like a bird off of a windshield, takes another Dodge Charger <laughs> off of him. He was out oh. in bigger waves than he could handle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, keep what going. A pause. That, that rule. What a pause. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Smolder. Yeah. It's almost like he's looking at us, like, cut it out. Jacob is Dom's brother. <gasps> All life, you pushed yourself to be oh, faster no. than Dom. That came out of this. Holy shit! But could you kill him? Okay, stop. What are they doing with Cameron Diaz's <laughs> hair in these movies? If I'm a director and I get Cameron Diaz, the first question I don't ask is, how can I make this woman ugly? But they found a way across multiple films. You, don't, like, you don't like this, like, this cartoon tradition. 80s scamp boy haircut? <laughs> what are you talking about? What I'm wondering is, can I buy... Dumb and, she's got the dumb and dumber Lloyd Christmas That's haircut. what I was wondering is, do you think at auction after this movie is done, I'll be able to buy the bowl they cut that haircut with <laughs> i think they went i went they, they went to the haircut they went in the trailer and said give the dennis the menace more menace than dennis <laughs> <laughs> it says look at his haircut you know what it is did you watch pen 15 on hulu i have it's, not seen no that. Oh, it's you have to see it but that's the haircut that that the main character has it's amazing and she before she had like dread braids right one of one of these characters seems to be in a prison like a magneto-esque prison yet they're both dressed like they're going out to the club so not mm, sure it also could be that they're just in a convenience store behind the bulletproof yeah this could the be bulletproof class this could be a cabrini green uh <laughs> convenience store all right toretto's got a brother <sighs> a family I'm Because I'm ready if you are. Keep going. Holy shit. No, no, no. <laughs> this haircut is nineties. Yes, it is. Yes, that it is. Char it's Charlie's Theron. You Charlie's Theron. 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 Dumb. Theron. And it's nineties. 90s Chloe Savigny haircut. That's what it is. I was my fault. Kids. I said Cameron Diaz. It's Charlie Theron. That it's a real mistake. circumcised dick cut when you look at see it. <laughs> now that we see it from the proper angle. Yeah, you really can only get that from a moil. <laughs> <laughs> moil on set. <laughs> you turn that into anger. There's nothing more dangerous. Maybe this is the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get to work. Okay, okay, pause. Okay. Wait, oh my they're going God, back it's in a time? Fucking DeLorean. <laughs> they're going Holy back in time. They're going to go back. In time. It's a DeLorean First with of a all, fucking nuclear warhead on the top of if it. If you like movies where characters grab a gun in someone's hand, buckle up. You're in mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. treat of your life because <laughs> how many gun grabs did we just see? A lot. Listen, that so, was oh, that was a lot to unpack. Yeah. Um, okay. So there. Um, the, you know, the, 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 listen, and just the geographically, it, we've got I, I think maybe Barcelona. We yep. definitely got somewhere in London. I saw them burst out a window. There was Asian writing. I think it could be Tokyo. There There's was, a, which, which it looked like they were at, on the road to Machu Picchu, maybe. <laughs> Malcolm, <laughs> you want to get in here and see, see a little bit? 
Malcolm will understand this. This is for his <laughs> age group. Yeah. I mean, if you like ca cars and trucks go smash and bang, boom, Malcolm, uh, I got good news. <laughs> come here, come here. This, this, uh, yeah, show, show everybody watch. Oh, watch my goodness. Series. Okay. There okay. he is. Look at he that looks, car. It's like the DeLorean from Fast, from the Back to the Future. Do you want to say anything? Back, back and, to the and, Furious. <laughs> This is amazing. Well, the best part is we were like, pause, pause. Then you pause on quite possibly the biggest question yet. What the <laughs> fuck is that thing? Okay. Wow. Is that I like a no Pontiac idea. Fiero? Or and it looks like it. No, this is an AMC DeLorean. It looks like. And it's got schematics drawn all. Like, look at there's writing all no, over it's like, it. No, it looks like heat tiling from a space shuttle. That's not a DeLorean, though. The DeLorean no, only not. comes in that stainless that steel like body. Car. That looks, that like, looks a like a Fiat. That is a that Fiero. Looks like a Z car, a Z28. I want, uh, no, I want to watch the next clip. It could be a Z28. It's got the front curves. No I don't know if Malcolm's ever seen anything edited this fast or this furious. <laughs> okay. So can let's just, see what it can does. Can you go back? His, but, his, little, his little plastic dump truck is just not going to cut it after this. I so I hope you're ready. You know he's a car guy. You better get Button some fireworks. Ron, can you give us back about five seconds still before that yeah. fucking Malcolm, DeLorean this, came in? This. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's go. This is going to blow Malcolm's mind. <laughs> Let's get to work. Please tell me that's not a Pontiac Fiero strapped to a rocket engine? Impressive. I know. No. No, that's, that's not impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, so you take a Pontiac <laughs> Fiero. Well, Malcolm has seen enough entertainment to last him for the next seven years. Thanks, guys. You I take gotta a buy a whole new load of trucks now. <laughs> <laughs> and some new diapers. Damn! <laughs> but you take a Pontiac Fiero, a car that is made out of paper mache, and then you strap a fucking rocket to the top of you know it, I mean? and then you let Tyrese drive it. It It'd looks be incredible like. if they fired the rocket and it just took the whole top part of the roof of the car <laughs> off and yeah. just flew away. <laughs> That's yeah, a convertible after that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, oh, that's insane. I mean, that that car alone. Yeah, I mean that car that Fieros were so small, they were very light. It's also a rear engine car, right? The Fiero was a rear engine vehicle. So the car is already weighted to the back, and then you're jamming. <laughs> Maybe it takes rocket. off. Maybe it flies. No, it had, it, those weird, it had those weird vents on the front bumper, oh like God. you'd see on a spacecraft for, to like to reorient a spacecraft. Space. If they go to if that Fiero space. goes to space, and I mean, it clearly had some cabin modifications maybe to keep an uh you know pressure in there i don't know i mean the rock can breathe in space though oh great question where the fuck is the rock okay go ahead whoa whoa okay okay Pause. Cal Gadot, <laughs> Indiana Jones Bridge. What does this movie not have? That truck uh, doing that, that's like, I think that's right out of Deadpool. I want to see more original stunts out of my nonsense garbage movies. So Mia is in the car with him. That was Mia. Yeah, and she's dead. I, <laughs> Mia Toretto is back. Mia I, I did, didn't die. Mia didn't die. She didn't just Gal went Gadot out. die? Gal Gadot died. And wasn't yeah, but that her? Mia, no, that was Mia. That, Mia uh, was looking, Brian's wife, and she didn't yeah. die. No, she didn't die, but she's there for some okay, reason. Sorry, that That's Gal Gadot. She's Dom's sister. Yeah, I know. But what is she doing there? Because it's obviously. Family. <laughs> no, but Paul Walker. Well, does she know? I mean, does she know about the brother? Because this is. This is Dom's brother, That's so probably, obviously. It's probably what pulled her back in because she was out of the game until it got that much more personal when, when like, blood. The physics, the physics of driving an, um, a Hummer H2 on a rope bridge that is already broken, <laughs> driving up the falling bridge is so mind-erasingly stupid. This just makes me miss international travel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Here he is in the DeLorean Fiero. <laughs> <laughs> or something. I came here to take you down, little brother. 
That's your mistake. This is my world. Holy fuck. <laughs> that is a fucking like a stealth bomber or something <laughs> like that. Get the fuck out of here now. This has become the Avengers. Let's it not is. freak out. It could have been a coronavirus blue angel goodwill flyover. <laughs> you don't know if there was any maliciousness involved in that. You mean this is clearly, this whole movie is a salute to healthcare workers mm -hmm. that went horribly awry. That's those, all it like is. Like it's going to say at the end, to those on the real front line. <laughs> to those really living their lives one quarter mile at right, a time. Right, right, right. And that's what that flyover was about, yeah. which honestly inspired me and made me feel patriotic. Look at this cockpit that we're paused on, leather <laughs> pants while operating it. You know that standard operating wardrobe. You want when... to be as sweaty and uncomfortable as possible <laughs> when trapped in a space like and that. And when you pull negative Gs and inevitably shit your pants, <laughs> leather is the preferred choice yeah. to fill you want, up. You want a good squirt up the back, uh, <laughs> hitting you in the neck. <laughs> now, Ben, you were in negative Gs, that rap group out of <laughs> Out of kind of uh, from bad. He was also boys. in. He was also in pleather <laughs> shits. So, <laughs> but that pleather leather shits was <laughs> negative G's. I I got into hip hop for a short time yeah, in May yeah, yeah. I like that they have the bad guy in the Ford. Uh, the Ford Mustang. And Dom in his classic Dodge. He's a Dodge boy through and through. Yeah, just inspiring a whole new generation of bullshit uh, water cooler <laughs> arguments between <laughs> between these cars. Hey, uh, they just sold a million Calvin peeing on either <laughs> label <laughs> stickers. Did they? Um, is that car with the rocket attached? It's called a Fiero. Is that right? Yeah, it's a Pontiac Fiero. Okay, well, yeah. yeah, we're calling it a Pontiac Guy Fiero from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's about to take him straight to Flavor Town. All right, let's go. Here we go. Damn, they got a magnet plane. Hold on. Oh my God, stop it. Stop. The line. Damn, they got a magnet plane. Just delivered with no. Just the utmost sincerity. <laughs> like, Isn't that the opening line of that ICP song about magnets? <laughs> magnet planes. How do they work? How do they work? <laughs> Damn. They, they got, got a magnet plane? That's Fuck. my favorite part is he said it as if, you know, about magnet planes. You yeah, know about them, Adam? You know, I feel like he just ADR'd that in from like a video shoot. He wasn't even there for that line. Damn, magnet planes. Like somebody, <laughs> somebody went. Yeah, yeah they had to like, redo the line. They're like, it was too ridiculous the first time. <laughs> no one knows what the fuck that thing just did. So we need a damn. They got a magnet plane. <laughs> I've always wondered how come they don't make the whole plane out of magnets. That's the indestructible part. You can't tell me that the. <laughs> screenwriters of this weren't watching their like four-year-old flying a plane over picking up a truck flying away with it they're like yes yes, yes magnet this is what i'm talking about hey you know, hey hey yeah hey how does that work what's the them? science behind it's that? a magnet plane <laughs> um the, the best part about this is that some defense <laughs> contractor went to boeing and was like we need a magnet plane to catch cars <laughs> out of the air. It's becoming a problem <laughs> trying to track those jumping cars. But All did right. you see Dom's response? He doesn't just give a fuck. No. He just, sh sh he's got the old garden hose nozzle Nas injector. Let's see what happens well, here. Wait, wait, but, but I mean, they didn't, they didn't also, he didn't bat an eye when Cena, Thelma, and Louise himself off that <laughs> cliff. And he did, okay, anyway, go ahead, go ahead. There's no bridge! Hell no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so funny. I was just thinking, like, as an actor in this film. <laughs> When you have to do the like, okay, we're doing a terrified look because we're going to be falling 
probably to our deaths, but then we're going to defy the odds. They've had to do that look 50,000 times for this film. How do, and, you, how do you channel the real you, fear? You anymore? just, no, here's what you do. You go to the Vin Diesel School of Acting <laughs> and you give the same look every time. Oh. Which is like... <laughs> That's what he does. Yeah, he, he seemed pretty straight. unimpressed with ben, the have free you been fall. To that school? I did. I I'm a level four Vin Diesel actor. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you spent Diesel, the, wait. You you stayed the whole afternoon. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> <laughs> but what the funny part was that he acted as if he knew that driving up that stone <laughs> arm was going to catch. What looks also, like what a, a commercial for the front bumper of a Dodge Charger. I know. Jesus. Dude, if you did that, if you hucked the car <laughs> off of it, it would shear the whole chassis yeah, off the bottom just of the car. Fall. you just fall. <laughs> yeah, Dodge, you don't need to fear pylons and Dodge. You just go right through them. Yeah. You They're like, it. you know what people love? The classic Atari game Pitfall. If we can reenact that with a Dodge Charger swinging on a vine, boom. <laughs> okay. okay, let's see the tag. Hey, guys. Surprise. Yes! What? Hans back. Hans back. Han's back and he's still eating chips. <laughs> yes, Han is back. And I'll tell you, justice isn't the only thing coming. Am I right, guys? Yeah, because that was a great preview. You Let were right, get... though. There was noticeably no rock. Maybe he's done with the. Maybe not. No. You know, he's got his own spinoffs. You know, now. he could. They would show him if he was in the movie. I think they would have showed him. Yeah, he's okay. the Hulk. I mean, even if he's if there's the the chance that he's going to appear at the last minute they're gonna tease that because he's the fucking rock so this is a rockless fast i gotta look at the imdb page i bet i bet they Malcolm's thought that cena would that. <laughs> he's like his mind has got just a lot of notes about what he's seen. Alone. <laughs> malcolm explain the magnet plane in layman's terms <laughs> yeah there's no there's no way they had the rock i mean he's just they, yeah. they would have advertised it by the way cardi b is part of the cast now uh, but here's the thing wasn't it coming out this summer but now it's delayed to 2021 2021 yes that is that's the real that's probably the worst part of the coronavirus <laughs> well yeah. other than the loss of life but yeah a close second a close a, second and the well the crippling of the economy to depression levels uh, maybe a third a third <laughs> i'll tell you one thing this will get them back in theaters yeah <laughs> Nobody this, wants this, to take on that this one. This is the okay. injection of NOS that the American economy needed. He did hit the NOS, too. That's what got him yeah. over the cliff, if you notice. So oh, I saw. NOS is back, for sure. <laughs> NOS is coming. You remember that album, Nostradamus. Uh, Illmatic by NOS. Um, no, this is amazing. Cardi B is in this one. Uh, that that gigantic roided out uh, guy uh, with the head tattoos. What's that guy? Is that bodybuilder? Uh, uh, hold on, looking through the cast. Uh, Mark, Martin Ford, he's in it. This, this is uh, this is a, a cast of some of the finest bodies in Hollywood. I am excited. <laughs> I mean, they're clearly leaning into Avengers, like as Ben says, like they can do anything, they can go anywhere. But I don't know. I'm pretty excited about this one, just because of the brother on brother. That's like I, I'm down. I'm down for that ride. And where the fuck has this brother been? <laughs> I'm I'm down. Uh, Mia is back. I think that's a great one. I've always liked the character of Mia. I think she injects some heart, a little grounded nature. She brings Dom <laughs> comfort and relaxation. He's a. Well, she's not all fire and cars. She's she's more the family, and Dom yeah. gets that sometimes. And yeah. Han Han's very likable. Well, very that's like. what I was just gonna say. I think all three of us are big Han fans. Han so is I'm, I'm Han coming happy. back. Look at how fucking cool he was when he just strutted right in. He's That's got a haircut. Awesome. He looks He's got a uh, snack, wizened, if you yeah. will. He's seen some shit. I think what we have to do is we have to go see this movie, and then we have to do another either special episode or an entire episode, depending on how good it is, just on this new fast. I think I 100% agree. Dude, and I 100%. Think we try to do hour-long episodes, but this one we allow ourselves four and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, I think we bring cameras in and we talk loudly throughout it. Let's you know what I mean? Do it. Oh, Let's fuck, try no, to do... he, 
with no permission, let's just try to live podcast it in a theater with video cameras <laughs> and equipment. Just bring backpacks full of shit. See what happens. Go yeah. Well, I'm excited, and I hope fans out there are excited. We are not being paid by Universal Pictures, despite what you may think about this. Uh, <laughs> there is no incentive for to do this other than just family. And in remember, fact, if anything, we could be getting sued by them. So yeah, that's it's how a risk for us to show you this level of. <laughs> We're zeal. sort of like the Fast and Furious crew of podcasting. We just don't give a fuck. Yep, I think, yeah. and I think they kind of are winking at us, like, "Go for it. We won't <laughs> sue," and, and we appreciate that. Um, All right. I guess in closing, thanks for being Patreon members. Justice yeah. is coming. Yes. Just wait. We don't know when, but as soon as we have a release date, obviously that'll be. You'll out be on the first to know. First. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yes, we are clearly but, now the street team for these yep. movies. As you know, justice <laughs> tends to take a while to come. <laughs> and <laughs> here's it's, here's what I say: just justice always comes first. <laughs> Which you you think more of a giving lover, but no, no, no. no. <laughs> what are you talking about, Andrew? You're making this innuendo. We're just saying it takes a while. Justice doesn't come prematurely. <laughs> but it, it, honestly, to me, it feels like justice hasn't come in a while. <laughs> so I really am excited to see justice come and to feel justice. Come. <laughs> I want to feel justice come for sure. I hope justice um, comes all over us. I'm very excited. <laughs> anyway, thank you all, as Adam said, for supporting us. And uh, yeah, well, and uh, remember, we'll... may your life be softer than a corn patch for an air crash. <laughs> 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 All right, let me stop this recording. <laughs>